Hello, my name is Andy Kunz, Director for Product Innovation at Fusion. Today I'm excited to present you our new applications based on BMC Helix, Helix Visual Boards and Helix Agility Suite. Fusion has been a BMC Elite partner for over 20 years. You can find us in five regions and we have over 200 employees. For us at Fusion, creating our own software is very important. In the next few minutes, I look forward to presenting our latest applications. Helix Agility Suite addresses the PPM market. Gartner expects a growth of 65% in the next two years. 80% of the companies will have an enterprise PMO in place by the end of 2023. 65% will even make a transformation to an agile product-centric delivery. And 40% want to have completed this transformation by the end of 2021. According to Gartner, the best PPM provider only achieves 65% of the critical capabilities. This is a market that is good for innovation. Let's move to the Agile challenge. The challenge today is that everything must become simpler, it must become Agile. Agile project and portfolio management is absolutely essential today. Just offering ITSM is no longer enough. What is our answer? Kanban and Gantt for ITSM and business workflows. A 100% Helix offering focused on outcome and requirements. And 90% of the customers can start immediately. And the business impact is flexible management of Agile projects, automation of task planning, assignment and backlog, a central entry point for decisions based on historical and future requirements. First, take a look at Helix Visual Boards. Helix Visual Boards is an extension for ITSM and business workflows with Kanban and Gantt, and I will show you this in action. Helix Visual Boards is seamless integrated into SmartRT. Actually, we are looking at the ticket console with my work queue of what I have to do. In the same way, I can only also choose the Kanban board to display the work queue in example, what I have to discuss with my team and where I want to assign some stuff. So every entry here is marked in a color and the color represents the priority and I have easy access, for example, to some data directly out of a blade to update the priority or whatever fields you want to show here. That's flexible to just be can configure. Not only having these few here, even a backlog lane and a in progress lane and a done and cancel lane, because these are virtual lanes. So you are able to say, let's do all incidents and work orders that are new, assigned and impending and bring them in backlog, display them in backlog. And then if you want to move forward, you have everything else in progress or cancel or rejected or then just be done. So if you see here the multi-source Kanban board, you also have a single-source Kanban board for incidents. The single-source Kanban board for incidents shows lanes based on the status values. Nevertheless, it's the same content that is displayed as you have displayed in a multi-lane board. Not only ITSM data is supported, we also support business workflows data. And here you have the cases and the tasks. And let's have a deeper look how to work with the Kanban board now. If you see the Kanban board, then you have the option like drag and drop an entry to a different status. For example, let's move that over to pending. If you move something over to pending, it could be that you need to fill in some additional fields, like for example, the status reason. In that kind, there's a third party reason why I want to move that to pending. So now I've updated one of the records and moved them just easy to pending. If I now want, for example, assign somebody else than Ludger to that entry, then I, for example, just can easily take Phil, drag and drop him and just change the assignee of these case. But he has multiple groups, so you have to decide which of the groups should be the group he wants to be assigned to the case. So now we have Ludger assigned. And what else is very important for the Kanban board in combination with business workflows? Business workflows is really flexible in configuration, supports different companies and different flow sets. 
And if you change the flow sets, it could be that the status values will be different. For example, if we choose a different flow set, then you will see we have different data and you will see also a different status lane. It's a, in example here, an extra status lane. But let's come back to our tasks. You also can display the tasks out of business workflows and move them around. So that's all for today. What I want to show you for the Kanban boards. Let's go back to our incident and work orders and have a specific look on one work order. Let's have a look at the update e-bonding and set up new tenant work order. If we want to see that in a detail, we see also we have a button here, show Gantt. And out of that work order, we can see now the Gantt for the planning of the tasks. And there could be, for an example, a wrong planning that the timing of the task is not well done. For example, now it will display an explanation mark and a red line that the end of a task with the successor will not met. So you now can easily, for example, shrink the time, move the task around just by track and drop and can solve your problems. So that's all for today for Visual Boards. Let us now move on to the Helix Agility Suite. We offer you the process from the idea to the Agile project. Here are the modules in detail. Idea management. Give your employee the opportunity to promote ideas and innovations. This is very easy via EMC Digital Workplace. Create demands or new requirements from an idea to a portfolio. Enable your portfolio and product managers to have a comprehensive view. Demand management. Manage business demands with risk, stakeholders, requirements and all resources. Initiate projects and collaborate with the necessary people and organizations. Portfolio management. Manage your portfolio as portfolio or product manager. The portfolio gives you a complete overview of ideas, requirements, demands, projects and ITSM tickets. Project management. Start the project with an overview of all requirements. Automatically create tasks and plan them in sprints based on Gantt and Kanban boards. Let's talk about a few use cases. Idea contributors can use Digital Workplace to submit new ideas or even a major innovation. Everyone can now vote for this innovation and increase visibility. An idea manager is made aware of this idea and accept it. This automatically generates a demand. The assigned demand manager can now evaluate the demand and capture all risks, involves the necessary decision makers and documents the requirements and resources. Once the demand is approved, a new portfolio can be created. This portfolio is now available to the idea contributors and ideas or requirements can be created and promoted again. Accepted requirements are automatically stored as requirements in the portfolio. The portfolio or product manager can now initiate an agile project by collecting the necessary requirements and automatically generate tasks for the projects. The project is now successfully processed in an agile manner. If a task cannot be realized, it is taken care that the corresponding requirement is stored in the portfolio in backlog. Let me show now some examples live in the application and let's start with idea management in Digital Workplace. The idea management is seamless integrated into Digital Workplace. Where you see your catalog, you also see your ideas. What you see now here is the list of the existing ideas I have generated. So I can have a review on the ideas with seeing the details seeing the description in a really nice style with pictures, links and all what's necessary, see the actual vote count, the status and also be able to collaborate on an idea where I can vote it up for make it more visible. Let's change the perspective and take a look at the Agility Suite. The central entry point in Agility Suite is the portfolio. 
So as a portfolio manager or product manager, I can have an easy overview over my portfolio or my product. So in that case, I see here exactly all information what is available. So I see all of the projects on the first tab. Then I see all of the requirements, especially them that are actually in backlog. That means they are not planned in any project. Then I see all demands that were run against the portfolio and all pending ideas. They are below review threshold and under review. And nevertheless, I also can see by the relationship from the portfolio to an IT service, the related ticket for that portfolio. If I now want to have a deeper look how projects are managed in the Agility Suite, let's go to one of these projects. Within that project, I see that is planned within a lot of simple sprints within the project. So you see here all of the responsibility in the project and you see there are seven sprints related to that project. It's very easy to manage the teams for the project. You just create random teams for every project and also assign people in the teams. If you now want to have an overview over the complete project, you can easily see that within the Gantt chart. The Gantt chart here displays you all of the dependencies, all sprints. You can collapse them and uncollapse them. You see all of the easy tasks. You can have a deeper look at one of them. You zoom in, zoom out. You can create also relationships if required. For example, need to create a relationship from that to that task. Then you see also an automatic move of all of the following tasks. And that is the management of the tasks in a project. So if you have project tasks that are in the backlog in the project, you will see them here within the tasks in backlog. If you want to have them implemented, you need to select one of the tasks, for example, that one, and need to relate a sprint to that project task. If you now want to select a sprint, you just need to use one of them, for example, that one that is actually in progress and can select it. Now we have created a task that is in the sprint and get realized. So let's go back to that implementation sprint number one. Now we have the tasks that are in this project sprint. These tasks are now all planned and get executed. And we can see the order of the tasks and also the assignment of the task very easy within the Kanban board in the project. We can also here assign tasks or move them in progress. Or if we are not able to fulfill them, we can easily just drag and drop them to canceled and then just say it's now out of scope. While saving that task and get it out of scope, the system automatically take care about bringing the requirement out of the project back to the portfolio. So that is the biggest beauty of the application. If you are not able to fulfill something and you want to see the requirement that was related to that one task, then you will see that requirement back in your portfolio. And if I now have a look at the portfolio, you will see there's a requirement existing that is actually again in the status of backlog and should be implemented in one of the next projects. Here's our order software requirement and there is no task or something related. So it's in backlog and just can be used with a click to create a project task fully automatic for the next project. That was a very fast and a simple use case within the Agility Suite and we are happy to show you much more possible use cases and more functionalities that we have implemented for you within the Helix Agility Suite. That was a brief overview of the power of Agile working. Both products are available directly from BMC or from us. Ask your contact person for BMC products. Thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing both products working in your Agile environment.